Well, hello, I'm Slack, and welcome back to Daylight. Uh, it seems like my mic is working now, which is strange because I didn't do anything to it. So, you know what, I'm just not going to touch anything and just hope it works. Anyway, I thought I'd go ahead and hit you back off uh, from where we left off here. I wanted a bit of a spooky game, so I thought I'd play it for a little bit here. Oh, good. Someone else left these on the ground. Oh, yeah. There's a throw button. Whee! Oh, there goes my mic. I didn't think it'd last that long. That was just too long with a good mic. I mean, just kind of make and throw. Whee! Wow. Quite an arm she's got on her there. So, anyway, I have no idea other than the desk of knowing whether or not this is the, uh... Oh, there's nothing there. Whether or not this is the, uh, the same, uh, the same, the same setting as before, because it seems like it procedurally generates every time you save, and, uh, oh joy, uh, I can't, um, I can't actually save until I complete the chapter, it seems. But, uh, but I've never seen, um, this far into the game. Wee, I can throw things. There was another button, I think, did other things. Let's see. Let's see, can I pick that up? No. Okay. Okay, enough, enough messing around. Enough. Enough strategizing. Okay. Especially since I think, as long as I have this on, if anything were to be special here, it would show me. Oh, it's off. Never mind. Hey, yeah, button. Or coat can. It's a button. This doesn't seem to be working yet. Okay, well, here we go. Mid Island Hospital. Attention, all employees. Last night at approximately 7 p.m., the power went off to this section of the facility. Due to the unfortunate timing, we were unable to let transfer a critical patient to the emergency department, and he passed away in transit. In the hallway behind the records room security door. That was a weird pause. I took that comma really, really hard. To avoid this type of tragedy in the future, the hospital has decided that non maintenance staff should be aware that security door the security door will not operate when the power is out. You must reset the breaker before using the door. Please familiarize, familiarize yourself with the power switch's location within the record room stacks. Okay, so in the record room stacks is where the power switch is. Alrighty. And good news, I went and got my... Uh, I went and got my car registered today. If you're not from America and not from Texas, that means, because I don't know if it's different in other states. I don't think it is. But I know it's the same in, in Texas, at least in America. America. Uh, you got to go You gotta go register your car to your name and stuff, and it costs money. And it's annoying. You stand in line a while. But it's done. Mid-Island Hospital. Attention, all employees. We understand that it is difficult to make it outside on your 10-minute breaks. However, just because the records room is large and has high ceilings does not mean you can move things about and create a satellite break room for smoking. We have caught several staff members moving supply crates, stacking them precariously, and climbing over them to serve as a lookout. Be advised, this is not gym equipment. Climbing on crates of medical supplies will not be tolerated. Management. I forgot my reading voice earlier. I got, I got a reading voice. So is that what the... Okay, yeah, that's where the red light is. It's not working. It doesn't have any power, but it has enough power for a red light. Cool. Old books. Those are nothing, apparently. So, like I said, I, I, I watched the playthrough this a long time ago, but... Uh, that's, the, that's literally like that first section was all I ever saw. So I have no idea what to expect from the rest of the game. Hmm. That sounds bad. Sounds like to have a rat problem. Should probably get that checked to call exterminator. Mid Island Hospital Incident Report File. Date May 1st, 1940. Concerning Mrs. Daniels' suicide. I don't know why I started talking like Cecil all of a sudden from Welcome to Night Bell, but anyway. Miss Daniels was found dead in her staff quarters this morning. There was a suicide note indicating she was extremely unhappy at work and in her personal life. Personnel on site state that she died from rapid blood loss caused by self-inflicted lacerations on her wrist. Her body was found sitting in a wheelchair. Pending a police investigation, Miss Daniels' body was transported to the morgue. <sighs> 
This is eerily similar to the other instances of suicide or people sitting in chairs. Oh, hi. Right, so we're going to go this way. No, not really. Apparently, someone really wants to take their smoke break here. They are just like sticking it to management. They're like, we're going to come in here no matter what they say. New Kipling Herald. Mid Island Ghosts from the Past, November 12, 1967, when they didn't talk like this. Mid Island Hospital was one of the most locally influential and medically profound places in our city's history, yet few people know how important its presence has been. From treating smallpox in the 1850s to contributing to tuberculosis research in more recent years, the hospital has done much to benefit the citizens of New Kipling. Even its brief, if failed attempt at reopening a penitentiary, as a penitentiary, whatever, helped to keep our citizens safe. So I'm trying to do different voices now when I read to make it more interesting because I'm really boring to be around or to interact with, or watch interact with other things. And uh, uh, also because I noticed, like, we're watching some of my videos, uh, aside from the terrible mic issues, I, I, make, I make a lot, I talk really fast, and I make a lot of ums and uhs, which is like, I just, I do that in real life too. It's terrible. You have no idea. It irritates my, my mom to no end. Um, but yeah, so, uh, case in point. But, but anyway, so what I want to try and do is, is speak more slowly and clearly in these videos. So that you can understand me. Well, I mean, I guess you could already understand me, but so that you could understand me better. Kipling, citizens, curse, accursed, accursed, crimes. Sixteen-year-old Gur, allowed to live, admits guilt. S condemned to hang, evil. Hospital, open to deal with spread a disease. Oh, that was information. Why is it always tuberculosis hospitals? Like, you know, in, uh, um, uh, which, which, uh, which one was it? Was it the first? No, it was, that was my favorite season of American Horror Story, Asylum. Um, actually, I've actually only watched, like, the first three seasons, so I don't, I don't know about the others. But I loved Asylum. It was really good. But it was also, like, apparently, oh, that seems bad. Stop. Stop. Uh, okay. Hi. Um, really, um, yeah. Okay. That seems like fire was bad. Probably the lady on the fire. But, but I'm just saying, I mean, you know, it's probably the lady that was on fire. Oh, she was smoking in the records room. I get it now. No wonder they were so worried about that. Mid-Island Hospital Incident Report File. Date, March 8, 1938. Concerning patient 90D. While on nightly rounds, Nurse Mo Moriarty noticed patient 90D standing in his room in an agitated state. The nurse claimed the man was beating his face against the mesh, protecting the glass. She screamed for help, and by the time we arrived, the patient's face was completely covered in blood, and he was raving about faces in the dark. Patient was quickly subdued and taken to the infirmary, where the attending physician reported he will likely lose both eyes. Patient did not seem bothered by this, recommending transfer to Dr. Mercer's care. Yeah, you know, just because you can't see the ghost looking back at you from the shadows, does that really mean they're not there? Okay, the button's over there, I think. But uh, but I got more information to collect. I I don't know why, but I'm liking this better than the previous the previous uh, part of the chapter. Mid Island Hospital Incident Report File Date March twenty seventh. 1980, 1981? 1931? I don't know. I can't tell. Wait. Okay. Concerning patient 90D. Psychiatric ward report. Patients have taken their pills and are all settled in after evening meals. That sounds like a rhyme. It's like a poem. 
Dyer refuses to check on patient 90D after the incident. He spat blood all over her and yelled some gibberish about casting a spell. Today is my first day observing patient 90D. He seemed high-strung and ready to snap, except towards Patrice. She is oddly special to him. Ah, oh, damn it, Patrice! I think it's what it is. Sorry, just it's the only person I know with that name. It's the only references I can make. Boxes with ropes can be moved. Some objects can be climbed. Circle. Oh, I see. R2, and then circle. Oh, we're not supposed to do this. Oh, oh, okay. I can't let go, apparently. We're not supposed to do this. They warned us. There was a, there was a paper. There was a memo. Did you not get the memo? I'm assuming this is not one of the boxes that can be moved. Up. Because how else could we get past these stacks of books and small boxes? Well, these are all records and stuff that they kept. I would like, I would love to go through all those. I think this is all in her mind. Okay, so this is probably going to cause something terrible to happen. Let's find out. Oh. Does being out in the dark make you feel better? Well, it shouldn't. Don't screw you, doctor. Don't be so pessimistic. Did you know I could push this box, doctor? You're pretty strong. I don't know why I'd want to climb up here, but it looks like I can, so I'm going to. Huh. Oh, I'm supposed to. I thought there was a door under the light. Because I'm dumb. My microphone agrees. I'm dumb. This sounds bad. Someone left the shower running. I didn't use a I didn't use a glow stick in any of this. I hope I wasn't supposed to. Okay. Nope, you can't. Oh, hey, I'm back here. Well, now I really regret not using a glow stick. Okay, that was the way. Oh, duh. I was gonna say that was the way in. So the security door must be that way, or is wasn't this the way I came in? It's the way I came in, wasn't it? Or was this the way I came in? I don't know what's through here. She runs like a girl. Oh, wait, that's probably fine. Yay! She kind of runs like she's all excited. And, and, and it, the original playthrough, I had so many flares, and now I have one. One flare. I had, I had four flares. Hey, it's saving. I must have done it. Well, in that case... I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, I think it's probably been about 20 minutes anyway. Uh, and I actually, I'm not trying to make 20-minute videos, but it, it, it just keeps out of happening. But, yeah, since it saved the content and everything, I'm going to end it here. Uh, my mic sounds like it's messing up again, too. I'm going to keep trying to use my mic as much as I can until I either can get a new one or get this one fixed. Um, but, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, if I can get my mic to do... To, to keep working and I can keep moving it from my computer and back. I might eventually try and find like a scary story or something to read just because I think that would be fun. Uh, but uh, Or maybe tell more stories. I hope you liked my nightmare episode in the last one. I want to do another one and do it like a little bit less I don't know, gibberishy. It was just like gibbering and it wasn't very wasn't very good. Uh, I want to do another one. And I, I do have other stories to tell. Creepy driving stories and stuff like that. Uh, UFO sightings, all those type of things. I mean, you know, I think I think almost everyone has at least one of those probably, you know. Uh, I have three. I'm special. No, I'm just kidding. I, you know, I mean, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that, uh, you know, I mean, everyone, everyone's got one. So I've got like three and only one of them is actually really any good. And that was because I was older. I had one point when I was like three, and I remember it, but it doesn't doesn't really, uh, it was kind of boring. But anyway, um, I am going to go ahead and leave you all here, and I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Leave a like, subscribe, uh, dance, jig, do whatever you want to do. You're free, people. And I hope you uh, watch more episodes. If you're actually watching this one, I may be talking to myself again. That happens a lot. I, I, should, probably, I should probably see someone about that. I should ask myself about that. 